Lately, I've done a lot of work on a REIT called Global Net Lease, ticker symbol GNL. This is the highest yielding REIT in today's market, offering a 16% dividend yield, and it's now set to internalize its management team. It will merge with another REIT, which could serve as strong catalyst to unlock value for shareholders. But after doing a lot of work on the company, I decided to not invest in it, and I also came across an even better opportunity. In today's video, I'm going to explain all of that to you. Hey everyone, this is Yoshi. I run a small investment firm that specializes in REIT investing. And in today's video, I'm going to talk to you about two specific REITs, Global Net Lease on one hand and WP Carry on the other. I'm going to explain to you why I'm not going to invest in Global Net Lease and why I own a position in WP Carry today. Before I get into it, if you could please like the video, that would really help me a lot. Thank you so much. So on the surface, Global Net Lease really seems like a great deal here. Its valuation is exceptionally low. Its dividend yield is about 16%, as I said earlier. It now has strong catalyst to potentially create and unlock value for shareholders with the internalization of the management team, the merger with another one. But despite all of that, I'm still not buying the, the thesis here. I'm still not investing in the company. And there are two main reasons for this. The first reason is the management. I think that the internalization of the management is a step in the right direction. They're also doing some improvements to the corporate governance right now. But even then, I still don't trust this management team. I filmed a few videos on them in the past. I'll put the link somewhere on the screen, but put it shortly, they've consistently issued shares at dilutive prices. Their long-term track record is one of the worst in the REIT sector. And I don't think that the problems are going to be resolved with this internalization. I fear that this recent merger, which they announced with Nasty Retail Rate, is just one additional piece of evidence that the company is poorly managed and suffers significant conflicts of interest. Here, I want to read to you a statement made by one of the biggest shareholders of Global Net Lease, shortly after this deal was announced. So here's what they wrote. The proposed merger is another deceptive effort by AR Global, which is the external manager of Global Net Lease, to skirt ongoing proxy fights against them and the ultimate accountability that will face them. Shareholders should be on high alert that the compromised boards of Global Net Lease and Nestle Retail REIT approved a deal that will aggregate a nearly 400 million ransom payment to AR Global, which again is the external manager, in return for all the value they've destroyed. Blackwells, uh, which is the name of this big investor, strongly opposes the merger and expects most other shareholders to do the same. So clearly they initially thought that this deal was going to destroy a lot of shareholder value. It included a very large payment to the external manager for internalizing the management. There's also very limited uh, synergies between the two companies. We'll discuss that a bit later. But then shortly after making this strong statement, this investor came to a cooperation agreement with Global at least. And in exchange of that, they got nearly 500,000 shares as a settlement fee. I don't know about you, but that sounds very sketchy to me in a way. And I'm not saying this is the case, but it sounds as if they got paid off basically to just shut their mouth and uh, approve this merger and let them go forward with it. Then shortly after this, another big shareholder of Global Netlist then came out and made the following statement. The proposed internalization terms under the merger are certainly an outrageous enrichment of AR global at the expense of global net lease shareholders. Then they added that Black Wells, having previously called the merger cock and mine and full of ransom payments to AR Global, will now receive 23 million in shares if the merger is closed. We believe that global net lease apparent willingness to buy shareholder support clearly resembles a green mail payment as an indictment of how corrupt this merger is. And so clearly we are not alone to think so. Um, and there are other shareholders that uh, think alike and and so again, I think that this is strong evidence that the management of the company remains conflicted. So yes, the shares of the company are very heavily discounted. They offer a 16% dividend yield, which obviously is very attractive. But if you look back, Global Net Lease has always been priced at a low valuation. It has almost always offered a very high dividend yield. And despite that, it has massively underperformed in the long run because the rate was poorly managed. They've consistently made moves that didn't make really sense for shareholders, but benefited the management allegedly, uh, in my opinion. And so for this reason alone, I think that the, the REIT is not investable. And then the second reason why I wouldn't buy Global Net Lease is its assets and its leverage. I've previously explained that they own a lot of single tenant office buildings. This is now coming down thanks to this merger with Nasty Retail Rate, which is a good thing, but the exposure still remains 20%, which is relatively high. And it's not just about this 20%. If I only had to worry about the single tenant office buildings, I perhaps could would 
buy global net lease. But the issue is that I fear that they own a lot of low quality assets across the entire portfolio because historically they've had a relatively high cost of capital. And so this has really pushed them to buy higher cap rate properties, which are also a lot riskier than average. Today we live in an uncertain world. We might be facing a recession. And so I think that a lot of their assets are going to greatly suffer in the coming years. Meanwhile, their leverage is relatively high today with a debt to EBITDA of about seven and a half times. And so any setback could have a very significant impact on the value of their equity. So these are the two reasons why I wouldn't buy global net lease. I think that a much better opportunity in this specific sector, the net lease sector, is a read called WP Carry, ticker symbol WPC. Its valuation is not quite as low. It's not offering a 16% dividend yield. It's offering a 6.5% dividend yield instead. But even that's a very attractive valuation for such a high quality rate. WP Carry is what you would typically describe as a blue chip because it has a 25 year track record of steady dividend growth. It owns high quality net lease properties. It has very attractive leases with even some CPI adjustments in there, which are resulting in very rapid rent growth in today's high inflation world. It has a strong triple B plus uh, rated balance sheet uh, with low debt, long debt maturities that are well staggered. And then finally, the management also has a very long and very good track record of significant market outperformance. And so because of all of this, WP Carry is of course never available at the same valuation as Global Net Lease. It has always been a lot more expensive historically. But despite that, if you compare the performances of both REITs over the past many years, you'll see that its higher valuation hasn't prevented it from outperforming and generating much better returns for shareholders. I believe that this outperformance is going to continue for a long time to come. Today, WP Carry is valued at a very reasonable valuation after recently dropping by about 20% and I bought this tip. Please know that I have a separate video coming up on WP Carry, so make sure to subscribe to this channel if you want to learn more about it. And then finally, if you want to learn more about what other REITs we're buying at the moment, feel free to join my REIT newsletter, Hired Landlord, for a two-week free trial. I'll put a link somewhere in the description of this video. And otherwise, again, if you could like this video, that would help me a lot. Thank you very much. See you at my next one. Bye-bye.